overview of a particular app called Gusto. Uh, it's aimed towards web designers. It gives you the ability to um, download files off of a particular server, edit the code, and re-upload them. Um, it's come in handy uh, a number of times for me, just updating a couple projects on the fly, so it's really enabled me to um, do some good work off of my iPad. Uh, there's another app called Markup, which it's kind of, um, they're kind of neck and neck right now, both the newer apps, but um, but I, I decided to go with Gusto. It's $9.99 from the App Store. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, you'll see when you open it up here, it gives you the, um, the little uh, texture of the background and then it'll give you your uh, sites that you have set up. It'll give you a thumbnail for each of them and depending on what uh, URL you enter in, it'll give you a screenshot of that. So um, to enter a project, you can simply tap on it. If you want to add a new project, you can just hit the plus in the upper right and then you can enter in all your uh, server information. You see title, website, um, server information and so forth. We're not going to do that right now. But if you just tap on a project, it'll go ahead and uh, bring you to the project screen where you can see on the left hand side it shows you the local host. So if you have any files that you've been working with uh, for this particular project, they'll be in here. And then you'll notice uh, all the little arrows and everything that's going up there. Um, all you need to do is actually click on the world or tap on the world, maybe. There we go. And then depending on what FTP information in, you can just hit connect. And it'll pop up your server. So you can just go through whatever directory you need to. It's brought me to my root directory here. So if I was to um, tap on the little circle to the left, puts a check mark in it. And if I press download, it'll give me a little progress bar showing that I'm downloading index.html and it now shows in my local host. So if I was to click back to project, it now shows in my local host. I can tap on the project or tap on the file name and I can either delete it, edit, um, or open. If you click edit, it allows you to edit the file name. So if you click open, you'll see here that it pops up um, with all my code that I can tap in and then I can make edits. Uh, they recently updated about a day ago um, and added this little toolbar up top which uh, basically gives you some uh, some um, just some quick action icons so you have your opening and closing uh, tags, you have a tab, parentheses, uh, the little squiggly things, containers and so forth so it definitely comes in handy and makes sense for a uh, for a web designer to have those there uh, my one complaint, and this may be something in settings, I don't know, um, it doesn't word wrap. So, for instance, all this stuff, I would have to scroll all the way over, depending on how much content it is. And you can see if you're working in landscape, um, which is how I usually hold my iPad, you have this very little field because the keyboard takes up a lot. And you can obviously move the keyboard down and follow through your code, but I really hope if it's not here already that they add a word wrap because you can see that scrolling all the way to the right is just kind of a pain in the butt having to do that depending on the content. But you can make your changes and so forth. Um, and then what you can do if you've made any changes, you tap on the world again with the globe, connect to the server once again and then dependent, it brings you back to the particular directory that you were in so you could simply tap on that click upload and then if it's an existing file it says replace, don't replace it won't change anything but if you hit replace um, then it would go ahead and upload and show you the progress bar so the app is Gusto, it's $9.99 in the App Store and for web designers um, I think it's I think it's a must. These apps are going to be uh, they have the makers of the apps have big plans to uh, keep keep bringing us good updates. So hopefully they get better and better. Um, but a good way to allow you to do work.